on January the 31st, 2008, at 6 o'clock in the morning, God spoke to his servant, Susie Jennings, the founder of Operation Care, and very clearly told her that while she thought she was going soon to the Philippines for a reunion of her nursing school class, he had far greater plans for her to help the orphans and slum children in her native country. And in obedience to his will, Susie, unanimously supported by her board of directors, said, Yes, Lord. Thus began in 2008 an annual calling of God for Operation Care to serve poor children and show the love of Christ literally around the world. The first mission in 2008 began an unending display of God's miracles and demonstration of His perfect timing and provision. Just two weeks prior to the scheduled mission to the Philippines, a devastating typhoon struck, causing massive destruction and disruption of the mission site in Iloilo. In God's perfect timing, the mission team of Operation Care was literally the first relief group on the scene and were able to provide rice and sardines to the starving people. The t-shirts and backpacks that Operation Care sent weeks earlier were all caked in mud and thought to be lost but they were salvaged by Muslim women of the village who washed and restored them. And through this act of service, some of these women came to know Christ. Even the Bibles that were damaged were replaced by the Gideons. Thousands were served, over 1,700 children and more than 120 college students who witnessed the power of God at work accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We know that every individual is important to God, and it was only fitting that God demonstrate this through Susie, that in the midst of these thousands of children, she would be particularly drawn to one young boy. Touched by his plight, Susie was able to arrange for this young man to have surgery to repair his cleft palate, and we are pleased to report that he is now in college and leading his youth group. In 2009, God said, go to India. The horrors that the Operation Care team witnessed there were far worse than what many of us had seen in the movie Slumdog Millionaire that touched so many hearts around the world. Poverty and destitution beyond belief. Hope was delivered to thousands of children and almost 2,000 accepted Jesus. Many missionaries have served in Africa and in 2010, Operation Care was called by God to join them in a reminder of the story of God's multiplication through Jesus to feed the 5,000, so many children responded that it appeared the supply of shoes, backpacks, and clothing would not be sufficient. Yet, as witnessed by the Operation Care team, every child was provided for as the supply of gifts not only never ran out, but there was an unexplained surplus. The harvest of souls was the largest to date, with over five thousand children proclaiming Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Just as Jabez prayed to God to expand his territory, Susie prayed for the territory of Operation Care in Africa to be expanded, and God answered by making possible the construction of a Christian school to serve the Maasai tribe in the bush 50 miles south of Nairobi. Previously, these children had walked four miles each way every day to attend school in another area and now no longer have to do so. As an additional blessing, the school included a cistern to provide desperately needed water to the village. It was truly a joyful day when representatives of Operation Care returned to be present for the grand opening of this school. In 2011, God greatly demonstrated His power and sovereignty during the Operation Care mission trip to China and Taiwan. Although it is quite dangerous to openly worship God in China, Susie and the team were able to lead a large crowd in worship on the Great Wall of China singing, How Great Thou Art. God's love was poured out once again over the children of this land, and over 3,000 accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. In 2012, God demonstrated His majesty as He assembled the largest gathering in the history of Operation Care International Mission Trips with over 18,000 gathering in the Bethany Church to hear the gospel preached by an evangelist member of the Operation Care team in Indonesia. Over 9,000 people were served, including over 4,000 children, 
and hundreds came to accept Jesus in this militant, dangerous, predominantly Muslim country. And the team was able to serve the orphans, those living in a leper colony, and the homeless living on the streets and under the bridges. God directed the Operation Care Mission of 2013 to Cambodia, where over 2,000 children accepted Jesus and even 14 Buddhist teachers prayed the sinner's prayer. God has continued to expand the territory of this Cambodia trip as Operation Care is currently building a medical clinic as part of a Christian orphanage and a Christian school that will open this summer in Poi Pet at the border of Cambodia and Thailand. The Philippines, India, Africa, China, Taiwan, Indonesia, Cambodia, seven countries in six years, many miracles, provisions, multiplications, healings, two schools, a water cistern, and a medical clinic built to demonstrate God's continuing greatness. And most importantly, over 12,000 predominantly poor and hurting children given the gift of eternal life. Yes, God has surely blessed the international ministry of Operation Care. And we believe all of this was to prepare us for our seventh mission to serve His people in His land, Israel. And in July 2014, a 14-member team of Operation Care International answered God's call to go during one of the most tumultuous times in the Middle East in recent memory. While we in America watch the scenes of this war nightly on our televisions and on our computer screens, the Operation Care team lived in the reality of sirens wailing, rockets exploding, and the aftermath of battles. Yet the team was unwavering and called on God for His blessing and His protection through the power of prayer. In the morning and in the evening, they would literally take a map and pray for their daily location, and they would pray over the bus to take them there safely. And protect them and bless them in their efforts, God certainly did. They held 20 events in 10 days and provided the children with over 3,800 backpacks t-shirts, school supplies, and food. But most importantly, they offered the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and hundreds of children responded. God also blessed the team with an opportunity to serve over 100 survivors of the Holocaust and show them the love of Jesus, our Savior. While all glory to God for these great works, He's not finished with this mission. After the team returned, over 12,000 pair of shoes were delivered to Syrian refugees, donated by millions from one ministry to support the work started by the Operation Care team. And in a series of confirmations dating months prior to this mission, God has revealed His desire for Operation Care International to build a school in Ariel to serve grades one through six. It's a big project, but we serve a mighty God. So please join Him where He's already working. Will you help? Will you give? If you do, God will surely bless you and He will provide a way for you to go.